Hello and welcome back to the Super Heavyweight YouTube channel where in today's episode we will continue with the PES 2021 Fulham Master League being played on difficulty mode of Superstar and today we play Leicester at home. Uh, just a quick recap, uh, we ended up losing 2-1 uh, to Nottingham Forest, the former two-time European Champions uh, Cup winners. Um, we had a number of chances but we just couldn't put them away uh, and they ended up scoring within, a f within the last few minutes of extra time but of course our main aim is to stay in the league so um, I'm not really too disappointed with that but of course we have to make sure we beat Leicester this is like a must win game because if we beat them as you can see on the right hand side we're currently 13th on 7 points but uh, Aston Villa are only 2 points ahead of us and they're in 8th so that's a big game and the other thing is we sold a number of players and we managed to sign Ryan Sessegnon on a free transfer. If I just quickly go into negotiations, just to show you that we have 67 million, 177,000. So if you have a look at these listed players, let me know who you think we could possibly purchase. Of course, I'm not going to make any decision as of yet, uh, but I'm actually looking along the lines of Zinchenko, possibly Heisaj, um, Muriel, um, of course, anyone from Pimpembe, uh, a top, top centre-back. Um, and that's who we're looking at, maybe a Demiral, uh, but most likely at least Kimpembe. And a, a favourite of mine is Kurt Zuma. So, of course, I'd probably want to get Kurt Zuma because he'll take everything out that comes in his way. Uh, so, have a look. Of course, we've got the option of company if we need to sign somebody on a free transfer, but... Of course, we won't go down. We're just looking for someone young that we can possibly improve. So, uh, if I was to, say, take um, Magales and, say, someone like uh, Keira, for example, Demiral, uh, they're young centre-backs, um, 23 and, of course, 24, respectively. So, um, have a look. Let me know if there's anyone you think that I should go with or anybody else that catches your eye. But, of course, we made a lot of changes in the previous match and of course we're going to go back to our main team of course everyone's had a good rest Lutman is of course someone that we're looking to get rid of so we did go back in with um, a counter offer of 14 million obviously he's not signing a contract and the last thing I want him to go in is for a free transfer we've got about 10 million but I think we can get a couple more million for him and if we can get around 14 million I'll be very happy with that so, um, we leave it as that, um, and uh, we'll continue. Obviously, Ozil's back, and Saliba's doing really well. I'm hoping that he can get to at least 80 by the end of uh, the season. I'm hoping Anderson can get 81. Of course, Hector probably will be sold, or will be a supporting centre-back, because I think overall rating is 75. I just think it's too low. And, of course, Tete, we've sold a rating 77. Um Ainer as well is currently 77 as well and I may look to cash in on him because I want to try and get an 80 rated cent, uh, right back so we'll see what happens uh, of course during a probably a busy January transfer window but again I see this as a must win game against Leicester because if we win this game uh, we've got a real chance of getting into 8th position or at least in the top 10 so of course with Messi Ozil back and I'm very I'm certain actually that if um, Messi Ozil had been playing we probably well, good day would have to actually, you on a um, great day here one which uh, promises rain but uh, promises match, way but beyond that what should be a really good game of football we don't want to overdo it with him and here, of people have the done everything they can so now to get you get here, know what we have to focus on outside, the team are doing really well they're playing really well I think most of the traffic is probably give another two games and, indeed, and then I'll decide whether I'll stick with a back five or if I go to a back four. Well um, and then maybe we can explore that option. Do we get another centre midfielder in? Possibly another striker? Certainly this we'll is a very, but very impressive now, venue. We'll stick Quite with a the sight three. to behold. And I know Leicester are going to try and press us very high. As you can see, we've already started with here. With back and Hector. So I Jim, who would you identify as the key man in this fixture? Mesut Ozil can There's add the really decisive many. edge, I would think. His space. close control and ability to slip the runners but through is, is a real feature in his game. Uh, Not to mention his dribbling skills. 
and that superb left foot of his. Yes, he's been my just about to pass for him to be honest. Then how they just get the best out of him at the last minute. Harvey Barnes waiting on the uh, overlap. That was offside, wasn't it? Pratt. A really good feat. He's gone for it. Great save and the there. The ball's come out. Uh, to be honest, I thought that was in by Vardy. Very dangerous. Probably showed him too much respect there. Class wage. Trying to win the ball back, but that's a great save there by Ariola. And of course, we we'll probably need to try and extend his contract and improve or increase, sorry, his release fee because he is subject of a bid at the moment. Quite a few of our players are actually, and understandably so, because we've done really, really well. So crossing there. That's again header. another great header. Um, the wrong outcome. And more uh, than decent our players were. Um, too easy from Harvey Barnes, but it's gone over, and we can um, continue with um, our attack. But we've got to be very careful. Go long to Isak, who's uh, been a great signing. Mitrovic, yeah, that's uh, top defending and preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities. Um, well, they would seem to be know, trying to expose the, the centre of that defence to, to runners. So it makes for some terrific movement. It does, uh, and just they may be hit on the break because impact. obviously it requires numbers also, forward to to stretch them out. Nesta has realised that he's the danger man and aren't giving him much space. In Brian, that he's going to run down the left wing. Everybody needs to step up. After Chico had a really good game. And Didi did really uh, well in to the last intervene minute, and the bar. dispel the growing danger. Well, um, would have got us that goal, but he was very unfortunate. Just uh, millimetres away. But we haven't been able Fulham. to... To Maybe uh, looks a foul. Yep, referee's get given the it. Like once again, it's not for us, but of course we've got to really concentrate here because Leicester have started the game really, really well. We haven't had the space um, that we probably wanted. Is that a foul, really? Um, Chadri's uh, remonstrating with the referee to say that wasn't a foul, but. Uh, as far as the referee's not going to change his mind, but can Hector a great the header? defence can right, get it he's clear. Get, I, I love to have those big centre backs. I'm Barnes. really hoping that I can actually he's get. He's left his man. Going for goal. Oh, that's a great shot again. Another he's great save there, a great save. Barnes sparked a tremendous stop up. there, and I think it's big fair to add he just wasn't big. expecting it. I can get in both of them. Of course, I need to make a decision because I really want Zinchenko as well. He's he's very young. Of course, he can also play as a centre midfielder. And of course, Lamina. Isaac. Hoist it uh, high. Would obviously go back to Southampton. So, Cuts it out. Um, yeah, that's something. I mean, we'll have Barnes. to think about this afterwards. I mean, it's not it's too early at the moment. But of course, I want to try and get some of the players. Johnny uh, Evans goes looking. Before other clubs try and come in. And it's lost his cheek. Well, that's a great ball there. This could spell a real chance. Oh, what a finish. What a goal! I mean, was that Messi over with the pass? I really wasn't paying attention, to be honest. Well, you know, but that's a about great that, finish. I think that's his first goal for the club. The young man who gave a very astute signing really um, for under £20 it's million. Pounds, well and of course, he's only going to get better as well. And I'm hoping that by the end of the season, he could be maybe 81 rated. I think him and uh, Mitrovic complement each other really well. So. It's actually Ruben Loftus cheek with the ball. So again, uh, the layoff by Olsen to Loftus cheek. And that's a great pass by Loftus cheek. And even, even better finish there by uh, Isak. I mean, that's a great finish. Just smash that into the uh, corner. And a great finish. Uh, that puts us up, and listen, if we can win this game, I think that would be a fantastic result. I mean, we are playing Deadlock a broken. It's one nil. with Fulham. Yeah, this is also um, a chance to see what happens easy, to their level of concentration from here. The signings that we've made, um, and hopefully you can use some of these well, in your... Say he was expecting a better um, ball than that. Mass League when you play, Chaldry. but I have to say, chowdhury has been a... Uh, oh, that's a referee, please. Tielemans. 
Back into the middle. So very Played back in. Shot. And again, I mean, for those of you who probably didn't think about uh, Hamza Mitrovic. Chowdhury. Played out to the right. Um, I mean, what a signing. Here it comes. Tete. Okay. Oh, great play there. Mitrovic probably could have uh, chipped the goalkeeper, but you can't blame him. I mean, it's a great football goal. Isak's confidence is up. I'm just hoping now that Adam, uh, Ademola Lutman has decided he doesn't want to stay, he doesn't want to renew his contract, um, and that's absolutely fine. Um, what we need to make sure we do is try to get as much money for him. And the with the cross from Ozil. Oh, Went with his head, but couldn't uh, steer it in. in the end. Actually, that much better. Great cross. He's on the head and just needs to get a uh, better direction on there. Of course. If we can sell, um, we'll gain well, another end of that one. Albeit perhaps momentary. Off to cheat with a shot. And it's been taken straight back. Oh, Isak has just uh, oh, probably been uh, of him this time, but I'm muscled sure out a bit. Again. I think the numbers in the end got to him. But if we can just uh, get 14 million for him, I think that Barnes. we can make some really good signings. Maybe Full three or four really good signings. Full leading with half-time drawing close. Um, which I think would help. Of course, it's just more the salary budget, whether we have enough in the end. Loftus cheek is just challenge. He just stood firm. Be careful here. Oh, very dangerous. That deflection. He's got away with one there. Anyway. No, with the clearance. The assistant referee rightly gives him offside. Sex offside. Um, but it was two on two. And we do have Muriel that we could possibly consider as well, but I'm happy with Mitrovic and Isak and probably, I suppose, Kamara uh, as the third choice centre back, uh, centre forward, sorry, out of the two. So I'm not really going to be too worried about that. And of course, Messi Ozzy, if need be, can um, play as a second striker. But going back to Hamza Chowdhury, hardly I mean, anything between said, the sides. Many of you who are watching, and the score I mean, is one nil. League, of course, you could possibly consider. A cheap and here's all Brighton. Uh, I think he went for oh, six nice. and a half million. No, it's all um, Brighton. And he's done a fantastic job, as you've seen. Indeed, he. Of course, uh, a and a centre back of that kind of leave it clear. That he does could end up going for 30, 40 million. So the the first half. I think that's the so there you have it. Sign in that I'm great. We are looking for a really good defensive midfielder. We don't want to produce just one goal. Come to Chowdhury, your man. As you see, he's always blocking, the first half. always incentive. To be pleased about with that uh, we expect uh, Leicester to have the, the and, and uh, higher amount of possession, so into that's the not a surprise. With the thought that they of have course, that all um, lead. Yeah, we're digging in there, beginning to, come to during the break. Uh, cause more of a threat. So already into the second period. We potentially could actually uh, Fulham really need to go and, and, and grab another goal now, Peter, if they're going to go on and secure this. Make sure that... Tielemans really knocks it away. That's a good ball there. Isak chips oh, through. Tried to do and the give and go, ball but is I think um, and back to base. Probably didn't get himself in the position that we needed him to. Ricardo Pereira. Nesta are able to, over to the attack other again. Uh, we've just got to be careful because we've just got the two midfielders looking for space um, out wide. And again. Well taken by Ariola. So we are being overrun at the moment. Um, Loftus Cheek he does have an assist to his name. Also really being and quiet. It's Mitrovic. But I think that's because uh, Leicester nullified him and focused on keeping Loftus tight. Cheek. But that's given space to Loftus Cheek. Mr. Ozil. And uh, under Chowdy. He's but still separated by the game. Only goal. And Oh, and then he that finds line. it all over the top. I was hoping that Isak would actually run Barnes, onto it rather than Hamza. Nice to get it but, forward uh, quickly. Ricardo oh. Pereira. I'm just trying to think, should I make a substitution here? Try and get someone on with a He's bit more good pace. progress from a deep position. All Brighton plays it in. Oh, that was nearly an home goal. What an home goal that would have been. Um... I actually did try to clear it, so it wasn't a case of I tried to pass it back to the goalkeeper. Mesut Ozil. So, so. 
So, Jim, what are you thinking? Well, Peter, if they're attempting to see out the game That's with such a, a narrow attack, it's been quiet, but when I just he does think they're sending the out the wrong up, message. Um, there's not many defenders are able to win it back from him. Hector's done really well. Brian? Of course, uh, I am looking for a better centre-back, but Ozil. can't fault his... Uh, Chowdhury. Performance. Lost his cheek. Chance to shoot. Ozil again with the reverse pass. He's Not there quite, but at least uh, those passes sure that that are being attempted, so the lesser centre backs are going to have to uh, be Lost his cheek. concentrating at all times. And of course, Brian. any mistake could result in a goal being scored, so again, Ozil is now finding the space as Leicester begin to tire. Tete. Ball's loose. Who's yeah, getting there? Hamza gets his old Barnes, club. Can he get a good chase. cross in there? Tete. And Mitrovic the running ball. at the goalkeeper, Jakopovic. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a substitute, possibly bring in on... Um, I'm actually going to bring on Lutman for Mitrovic, just to give a bit more pace there. And could I bring on Lamina for... Uh, Loftus cheek and hopefully he'll give us a bit more ball uh, running off the ball. Mesut Ozil. Oh, the great nearly got through. That would have been a great pass to the two strikers. Tries to switch the play. We've just got to make sure. Losing in on the last quarter of an hour. Back in. Well, that had to be Joel more accurate. done well. Just dispossessed. Vardy. Carefully. Now it's Vardy. Great defense. Oh, keep up. Leicester <laughs> just are actually me of displaying Forest tremendous there fighting minute. spirit. There's um, a real belief that they can still have a save. Made that little mistake towards the end. Leicester beginning to look potent. And here's Vardy. He's got away. Oh, it took three of us to get the ball off from there. Leicester are definitely not going down without a scrap. And the finish. Oh. Said that and now we're in possession again. Mitrovic. Brian there. is charging up on the overlap. And not quite Fulham across the line. Looking to make this one safe. They want to reduce the risk. Should have really kicked it out. But once I saw that we had the chance. Let's do it now. Just Loftus knock it out. Switches it towards the other side. Maybe Leicester oh, might actually get a final touch onto it, and they do. So at least we've got the throw in. We've managed to get a substitute on there. Um, it's uh, worrying times. And here's Ozil. Just got to keep the it's ball. Tete. So you want to get Ozil onto the ball. Five minutes remaining now. A famous win. And that's a oh. foul. Simple decision for the Thought, referee. Um, Isaac would be able to get onto it. It is just a question of running down the clock now. He's got to be careful. Isaac is chasing the ball down. Barnes. Nani. Barnes. Just brushed off the ball there. there by Saliba. So the last minute. And the referee is brought by play Tete. Back. I think and he tried to get a yellow card. Out, to be honest. But hopefully we can get everyone back. Final minute. This is a big minute for us. Just actually took him out of ref. That was a bit harsh for a yellow card. I mean, I've seen worse fouls by the opposition against our players. But not quite. And I managed to get it. So just slow the game down. And a fantastic result. 1 0 against the left side. Who so finished swing, just outside the championship spots last season, so that's a great the final result. Isak with a fantastic finish. Well, to me, this is a result, pass. Peter, that yeah, says an awful lot Loftus more than the scoreline suggests. In there. You know, after Played the goal, the team just Loftus settled down cheap, and, so and looked surprisingly of comfortable. Of course, Leicester did have their chances. Didn't really need to work too hard. And again, this one. A so great save probably today. Thank felt you, Jim. a bit hard and done by, but I thought all. we played really well. I mean, we showed resilience and of course uh, we could have conceded actually, um, but we fought um, and we showed quality in the opposition half. And of course we don't have many substitutes that we can actually bring on, so that's a great result. And look, we've actually managed to uh, climb to ninth. And look, if you look, 
uh, we're only three points off the Champions League spot, so we've just got to keep on winning. Um, of course, we did lose. I'm just trying to work out who we lost to because I can't actually remember now. Um, I believe it was Manchester United actually, uh, and a big game against Leeds. So of course, we'll probably end the episode here. Let's just have a look at some of the. Uh, they've agreed. And Ariola's role has changed. So I'm just going to accept that offer for Lutman quickly before anything goes wrong. I know his market value is 17 million, but sometimes we have to accept that um, they're willing to pay the 14 million. They're probably looking for a good deal. Um, I think both parties will probably be happy. So we got 80 million with 192,000 salary budget. If we can get four players at just under 20 million with, say, 40 odd. 40 to 45,000 pound salary budget um, We could get some really good players in so we've just got to tread carefully and Just work out look if you look we've got enough we need some more midfielders Just to offer support uh, Cavalero possibly can so I'm just trying to see who we could possibly get rid of uh, Lookman's obviously gone Cavalero someone we can probably try and get out Tete, I believe we've accepted a bid for him. Brian is someone we might look to move on. Uh, or Robinson. Um, but we do have options. A transfer offer has been received there. Uh, Hector. Again, possibly we could look to move some of these players on. But um, we'll take that. Uh, that's a fantastic result. Uh, very happy with that and again a big game against Leeds before we play Manchester City and the six-pointer at the half once against West Bromwich Albion So we'll end the episode now uh, again a fantastic result very happy with that and again Thank you for your continued support uh, Appreciate the fact that you gave uh, helped me achieve 100 subscribers of course now we need to try and reach a thousand subscribers so if you have watched and you haven't subscribed please do so and please continue to like comment and subscribe and please turn the post notification bell in order to be notified as soon as the episode has been uploaded and spread the word amongst your friends and family and uh, on your social media accounts i would really really appreciate that so take care see you soon remember we are changing the game and take it over